Now, Ephesians chapter 5, 31 and 32 say, For this cause shall a man leave his father and mother, and shall join unto his wife, and they too shall be one flesh. This is a great mystery, but I speak concerning the church, Christ and the church. Now, this is 10 reason why women and men does not want to get married, but have children instead. 10 reason why women and men does not want to get married, but have children instead. Number one, they don't want nothing to do with God, but this worldly affair. That's number one. Thank glory to God. What? They want nothing to do with God. They say, forget God. They don't want nothing to do with God, so they have a baby. I mean, they have children out of wedlock. They have many children out of wedlock. And they say they can't find a man. If you can't find a man, don't, don't sleep with a man. If you can't find a woman, don't sleep with a woman without getting married to her. Number two, they don't see good. Now, this is 10 G's now. Cause I want you, I want you to see why men and women don't get married, but they have children, they have bastard children in this world. Illegitimate children in this world. Children that don't have a father and don't have a mother. And glory to God. Number two, they don't see good in being married, but being single, singleness. Amen. Number three, they want gold instead than obeying God and wealthy and hand out. <laughs> what? They want money. They still listen to Lyndon Johnson. They still listen to the Democrat Party about saying you ain't got to get married. If you don't get married, you get more money. It's a lie. Hey, glory to God. Number four, they play games rather than being serious with lives. Look at their children. Look at the children. Look at a mother. Don't let her know. Don't let a child know their father. Oh, a, a father, don't let the, the child know their mother. Even though the mother might be on crack or the mother or the father might be in jail, it's still to know that he still exists. And if you're a mother, don't bring your child to know to know to know prison. Because you don't want your child to end up the same way the daddy is in prison. So you don't bring him to no prison, my friend. You tell him that it's a better way of being free. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Number five, they play gimmicks than taking care of their responsibility of being parents. They play gimmicks by playing. They play on they play on each each people each people egos. They are ego they are, they are ego risked people. They they exit God out of their life. Amen. Glory to God. Number, number six, they want gifts rather than taking care of their children in the midst of of lies to their children on Christmas. Come on, now Christmas is not about Christ. Christmas is a mass communication and lies and drinking, getting drunk and people committing suicide. You know what Christmas is? So don't lie to your children about Christmas because Christmas is depressing. If Christmas was about Jesus, we'd be saved. If Christmas would be about Jesus, we'd give our life to Jesus and not so much the gifts. Hey, glory to God. Number seven, they're always on the go and going the wrong direction in life, having a new boy or a new girl. Come on now. Jesus Christ said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. Amen. Number eight, they don't want grace and mercy from God above because they say they are still young. It's for old people in cane stick or wheelchair. They say too young. They, they're too young to give their life to Christ. They say being saved is for old people. I give my life when I'm worn out. My friend, you might not make it to that time because the young dies as well as the old. The old outlasting the young. The Bible says, why die before your time? The Bible says the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Ah, glory to God. What I'm saying to people, they say that I don't want to be saved right now. The Bible says he called young men because they are strong. 
God can God listen my friend the best time to you to God use you when you're young hallelujah glory to God when you're old you just die without Christ I know Methuselah lived 900, 969 years old. He go to God. Amen. So I'm telling somebody right now, my friend, stop making excuses not to be saved. Satan lying to you. Because I see the young people die. They die at, at 12. They die at 16. They die at 18. They die at 20. My brother died at age 39. He go to God. Amen. Of AIDS. Amen. And some people are saying that, oh, he ain't died. Yes, he did. Because my, my brother was loose. But the sword just got him. Hey, glory. The sword of age just got him. And it's waiting on you. Keep on, you keep on, you keep on having loose sex. You keep on bragging about you have sex with 1,000 women. My friend, before, before the, the clock strike 12, you might not see another day. The Bible says, boast not for tomorrow because no know what tomorrow may bring. Sufficient unto the day is the evil there are. So, yes, I'm saying that when you get old, you're going to give your life to Christ. Look at look at some of y'all Christians, so-called Christians. You're still in a bar. You're still going clubbing. You're still partying. You're still banqueting. And you give God your time only on Sunday. Sober up on Sunday. You keep on playing with God. God will make some of y'all in a wheelchair at 16. Hallelujah. You've been a bed, bed written at 17. Come on, stop playing with God. Amen. Amen. Come on. Number nine, they're still growing and they are not ready to settle down in marriage. They want to have more fun in the club or getting drunk or smoking weed or cannabis. Amen. What you talking about, preacher? Ten reasons why women and men does not want to get married, but have children instead. So many fatherless homes. And I know, listen, 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 my friend. I know I'm not perfect. But my God, you have, you have example. Me and my wife are example to my daughters and to my sons. And I tell them they are four stooges, my friend. Yeah, I said it, four stooges. Hallelujah. Glory to God for stooges. And the reason I say stooges because you have an example that a man does not hold up to his responsibility. You know before you lay down with this man, he's a deadbeat. When you was dating him, he's a deadbeat. After you have a children, he's deadbeat. And you're still, hey, glory to God, sleeping around, having all these children out of wedlock. When you gonna learn? You are messing people up. Been been working all their life, and when the time comes for retirement, they're not gonna have no money. Why? Because you have used up the money. I call welfare. Hallelujah! I remember I came here in '77, and I used to go to this church called Baptized Believers in, in Washington D.C. And the pastor always say that y'all foreigners come in and take the jobs. Y'all foreigners coming to take all the jobs. I'm going to tell you something, my friend. We foreigners love to work. We foreigners don't, don't, don't depend on hands out or food stamps. Not all now. Not all. Not all. I'm just saying that the typical Americans, young girls and boys, they want a handout. They want to be on food stamps. Food stamp is not made for the, for the young and healthy. Food stamp is made for those that are sick, those that can't work. Food stamp is not for you to be trifling. You having baby after baby after baby, and all these ba these 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 men that's dead be walking around with their pants hanging down, showing their dirty drawers. Say they are man. You're not a man because you had a baby. You are a man when you take your responsibility and start depending on the government to take care of to take care of your seed. Hey man, come on now. I'm, I'm upset. You know what I'm upset? Because college don't give you common sense. <laughs> Come on now. College does not give you common sense. Common sense. Every human being on this earth, God gave us common sense. You can't go to institution and learn common sense. So you know when you're dating, this guy was a deadbeat. You know that he's mama's boy. Hey man, you know that, you know this guy, hey glory to God, the only thing he'd want to do is lay and don't pay. 
He like going to a restaurant and walk out through the back door and without paying. It's just like you, some of y'all, y'all, y'all depend on these guys. They want to lay when they have a baby. They say the baby's not mine. And you know that you don't want to slap this girl. But now you're not saying that the baby is yours. Why? Because you're trifling. Amen. Go for boy and girl. You are trifling. Amen. Come on now. Amen. Ten reasons why men and women does not want to get married, but have children instead. Why? Why? Why grow up and hurt these babies? Amen. Why grow up and and the institution, the jail cell is crowded. Hallelujah. The, the, rather than making, rather than making uh, 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 colleges and schools and 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 and. And, and learning institution and, and trade school, you build a more prison. And the reason why, because prisons are made for people, hey, glory to God, that they, they're more fatherless home, fatherless uh, 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 home with a father, children don't have a father there. A mama can't be a father, and a father can't be a mama. Amen. So when, when are we going to stop and know that marriage is not a bad word? Marriage is not a curse. Marriage, my friend, you stop looking at movies such as a game, such as soap opera. Soap opera don't teach you about marriage. Soap opera teach you about how to be a whore, how to be an escort, and how to be a sleaze bag, and how to be just a player. Amen. Hell, hallelujah. I'm not mad, my friend. Come on, I'm not mad. I'm just making a point, a serious point. Marriage. Is for pleasure and reproduction. Singleness is to, 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 to see if you are man. The Bible said, man that finds a wife, find a good thing in a favor of the Lord. A woman don't seek a man. She just be available. She just be available and she be reading Proverbs 31 chapter. How about how to be a virtuous woman? And when you're virtuous, that means that make sure you are clean. Make sure you can cook. And make sure, my friend, you have a conversation. And go both ways, my friend. Hey, go, go both ways, my friend. Because, because I'm not being chauvinist. A man should learn how to cook. A man should learn how to clean. And a man should have conversation. Some of y'all men, y'all y'all want women to, to, to clean for you, to cook for you, and don't have a conversation. My friend, this is, this is not the pilgrim time. This is not slavery, my friend. Amen. Amen. A man should be able to cook. If, you're, if your wife is sick, what you going to do? You going to call a maid? <laughs> Glory to God. Amen. You go both ways. You should be able to cook. You should be able to clean, and you should be able to take care of the children. Amen. You go both ways. Amen. Some of these men, they look for women. They look for slave. They look for a woman. They look for a slave. No, you're not going to get a slave. The Bible say both of y'all are submissive. I know the Bible say the man is head of the woman. But it don't mean that you pull her head by the hair and say, cook for me. No, it don't work like that. Because love Bear all things, believe all things, hope all things, endure all things. Love will never fail. You take love, my friend. I thank God I've been married for over 30 plus years, my friend. And we, we listen, we didn't have family. We didn't have family help us. Amen. And now having these 13 grandchildren and to see that none of my children are married. Amen. Why? Because the enemy... Know that I'm a preacher. The enemy know that I'm anointed by God. So what they do? He let my children break all the rules of marriage. <laughs> Glory to God. But, but the devil is a liar. The devil is defeated. You know why he defeated? Because I'm still preaching. I'm still reaching. I'm still teaching. He glowed to God the loss to get saved. I'm not, hey, listen, I'm praying for my children. Don't get me wrong, I'm praying for them, but they got to realize that the devil is using them against me. Amen. I'm going to still gonna preach the gospel. I'm not going to stop. Amen. I'm not going to stop. I'm going I'm to preach more, more louder and preach more stronger. Hallelujah. Because the Bible say, cry loud and spare not warn to them that preach not the gospel. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So I'm saying to, I'm, I'm still on the same subject. 
Ten reasons why men and women don't want to be married, but have children instead. Amen. Number ten reason, I'm gone. They say being married is gross. They say it's nasty being married. What's nasty being married? It's nasty having sex, not being married. Because I'm going to tell you this, my friend. Anytime you sleep with a single person, hey amen, you are sleeping with that with personalities. You are sleeping with demonic forces because you like a person, glory to God, is swimming in a swamp that everybody swam in. Hey, glory to God. And when it's time for you to be married, you won't stay married because you are worn out and you are swamped. Ah, glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. So, so you say, they say being married is gross in commitment and being one. That's, that's why they rather have children than being married. What do you think about these 10 reasons why you not married? The Bible said marriage is honorable in the sight of God. But whoremongers, but now they don't call whoremongers, they call them escorts. <laughs> Glory to God. Amen. Escorts. You got 15 years old escorting grown men that's 70 and 80 years old. But the Bible said marriage is honorable in the sight of God. But whoremongers and adulterer, God going to judge. I'm telling you, my friend, God is number one. God is good. God is graceful. God is merciful and God is waiting on you to give your life to him. Even though you made a mistake, my friend. You say, Lord, help me. Lord, heal me. Lord, I may be, I may be heading to hell, but Lord, rescue me. Ha, ah, glory to God. God is merciful. Don't let the devil, don't let the devil spoil, put a spoiler on you. But tell the devil he's a liar and a father of lies. The Bible say in John 10, verse 10, the devil come and steal, kill, and destroy, but just come that you may have life and have it more abundantly. You might have made a mistake, but God can make the mistake into, into praises. So give your life to Jesus Christ through you having all his children. God bless. Peace.